everyone, and thanks for stopping by this week. I've had several people ask to see um, different things that I've made. Um, I've done quite a bit of sewing, and I've shown some things on the show that I've made um, just for personal use, and some things I haven't shown. So today's video is going to be a bit of show and tell for all those who've been wondering and wanting to see other things that I've made. So the first thing and the thing I'm most proud of making is this wonderful dress that I made for costuming class. I used a vintage pattern and I really love how it turned out. It's my favorite thing that I've ever made. Some other things I'm really um, proud of are the circle skirts I made. I love circle skirts. I love making them. I love wearing them. I've made five circle skirts total, four for me and one for someone else. Two that I'm most proud of that I made for myself is this blue circle skirt. The other one is this skirt I made out of a Pikes Peak shirt that my mom gave me and some green jersey knit that I had lying around and I just think it turned out really cute. The skirt I made for someone else is this one here. I made it for Mary Ann. She sent me a shirt and asked me to do something fun with it so I made her a skirt. I used the same green jersey knit that I used on my Pikes Peak skirt. What was really interesting about this skirt is it was a small t-shirt using a small shirt completely changed how I made the skirt. I had to do all this math and add on to the bottom and the side and everything and it actually turned out better than I expected. It was really cute and I'm very proud of it. One thing I was kind of known for my senior year of college was my hats. I made a ton of hats and I wore them so often I had permanent hat hair so I really didn't have a choice but to wear a hat at that point but I have sold a lot of them. My first online sale of one of these hats was to the United Kingdom and that was so exciting. Another favorite of mine is this drape neck shirt that I made. I used a online pattern. I used this dress that I found at the thrift store. It had a really great pattern and it had some stretch to it and it was a very very full skirt so it had a lot of material in it and I made it into the shirt and it looks really great with jeans with dress pants with a skirt it looks it can look professional and it can look casual so I really like it for that my latest project has been wrap skirts I've been using a lot of recycled linens for wrap skirts and I've had a lot of fun making them I've made four of them now and it's just really fun to see what combinations you can do uh, for the reversible parts and it's just they're a lot of fun to make and they're a lot of fun to wear and last but not least is the first Halloween costume that I made for myself like an actual costume not just like throwing things together out of my closet and it was my sophomore year of college I used the Generation T book and I made myself a flapper dress and this is the only photo I can find right now so it's I had turned it black and white so it would look more um, 20s I guess I don't know I put it on Facebook like that so I I don't know it's the only picture I have right now so this is my flapper dress it actually is the base color is black and then it has pink and purple fringe but you can't really tell in the photo but it's made out of five t-shirts that I got at the Salvation Army and it was a lot of fun I got a lot of compliments people couldn't believe that I made it and so yeah so stick around after the break and I will be giving a little YouTube update I originally started this channel to post random videos and school projects and the channel name was the same as my blog to make things easier. Then a school project turned into the Whitney Sew series which is um, what I mostly post now and how I got most of my subscribers. And I've been wanting to post other types of videos lately but I didn't want to make my subscribers mad who are counting on just Whitney Sew's videos. So I've created a second YouTube channel and I'll be posting hauls, book challenge updates, tags, etc. All types of stuff. Um, and I'm currently working on a video showing alternative ways to wear um, your really long necklaces. And so if you're interested, go check out my new channel and subscribe for upcoming videos. 
and I hope you like my other channel and I'll continue to post on this channel as well the weekly Whitney Sews videos so don't worry about that um, but anyway thanks for stopping by this week and I hope you enjoyed the little show and tell and I will see you again next week with another video bye